Had the scores gone the other way, would you be angry at yourself for the way you fought? No, I wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have been angry at myself. I would have. I would have felt like I could have done more. I would have been motivated and inspired to get back in there and and do more in a rematch. Uh, but it didn't go that way. You know, my, my coaches, uh, Greg Jackson, Mike Wingle, John, all the guys, uh, they've been around for a long time, especially Wink in the kickboxing department. And he was pretty sure that I won the fight. He, he, his energy, he wasn't worried. And that's why when uh, the judge was reading the final verdict, you know, um, I put my hands up way before they gave the, uh, the announcement because I trusted my coach's opinion. They said, John, you, you clearly won the fight. I haven't seen it yet, so I got to get back out there and, and watch it and you know criticize myself and see how i can get better obviously there's a big fight next month would you fight the winner if they showed you the money uh absolutely absolutely uh me and daniel we, we're, we're both speaking the same thing it's it's going to be a super fight and the only re the only reason why it hasn't happened is because of i think ufc scheduling when the UFC is ready for the fight, uh, they know they have two guys who are willing and able, and they'll approach us, and they'll just say, "Hey, you know, this is what you guys are going to get paid," and and I'm sure me and Daniel will be happy. I do look at myself as being one of the most dominant fighters in MMA history, um, especially considering the competition I've faced. Uh, but as far as greatness, you know, there's a lot of things about me that's not great, and so greatness will always be an opinion, and uh, and I'm done trying to win over. Uh, people's opinions. I don't really care what people think about me.